Okay, so Megatronics have just sent me this R58X Pro, which is a very, very high spec SBC. Uh, really, really nice, really huge box, but really well built with loads and loads of connectivity on it. Now, if we have a look at my screen at the moment, you can see there's an operating system on there, but it's not coming from this. It's actually coming from the phone. Uh, this is an Honor View 20, which has uh, a desktop interface. But if I press the back button, you can see that we're actually running Android TV, but we have an HDMI in option. So if I click on that, whatever's coming through will show up on the screen via the Mechatronics, via that HDMI input on the back. So on the back of the Mechatronics, here's the HDMI in, this is the HDMI out. We've got DisplayPort output as well. Uh, you can also see three Ethernet connections on there as well. One of those supports power over Ethernet. On the side here, we've got a couple of USB 2s and an SD card slot. And you can see we've got a proper power button, which is illuminated, three and a half mil output. We've got USB-C, another two USB 2 sockets, a USB 3 socket, and a load of LED lights. And something unusual, but I really like it, is an analog volume control. So you can see it changing on the display there. We also have a SIM slot, which you can see under the USB-C connection and also a proper SATA connection inside there as well. So this is the official Mechatronics website you can see here, R58X Pro. The web browser is very snappy, but we know this from uh, 3588 processors. It talks about the power of the RK3588, which is well known now and is great. Video output resolution of 8K. Interesting about the display, so the 58X Pro has diverse interfaces. And it says here you can have an 8K screen plus 4K screen plus 2K screen, or we can do 4K plus 4K plus 4K screen at the same time. Dual gigabit network ports, power over Ethernet, which I mentioned just now. So you can basically power this device over a network cable. Really good for professional use in machinery and remote locations. There's a mini PCIe slot which can add functionality of 4G, LTE and GPS. We've got an M.2 NVMe SSD slot and 10 gig ethernet port. And then it just talks about the processor. I mean, it is, it is such a good processor. So operating systems that are available from Mechatronics, so Android TV, which you can see I've got here, Debian Linux, and also Ubuntu. I've got separate videos showing the R58X. So from a performance point of view, that is gonna be the same, but we've got all this extra functionality, all this extra connectivity, and the digital display as well. So we go to the support page, all the download links are available there for the software. And you can see here that the image for the R58X, 4G and also Pro are all the same image. So Android and Android hiding the status bar, Debian and there's various instructions. But I've also got all the instructions on how to flash this operating system in separate videos. I've reviewed three other Mechatronics devices up till now and they've all been great, all been super powerful. Now I don't remember the remote control doing this. This is like an LG remote or a Wiimote. So if I want to select BBC, you can see I can select it. I can select an image and it will start to launch that. Uh, but also if I press the play button, what's the weather like today? So the microphone works, not with the microphone button, but with the play button. But uh, yeah, it's quite cool to have that uh, functionality to be able to skip around really quick. Before, it used to just move the mouse slowly. Um, I've just turned it off basically so you can use it as cursors. But as soon as you click it, it is like an air remote. Now, as I've already tried Ubuntu, Debian, and also Android on three separate Mechatronics devices, I thought what I'd do is try out Reborn OS because I found on their GitHub now, I found it under developers, I think. And yeah, down the bottom here, we keep scrolling down and view all repositories. In fact, we can do uh, control F and type in R58. You can see R58X LXQT image. And there's a mini image there as well. So let's click on that. And you can see we've got releases January 14th is so pretty recent. I'm going to download that on a Windows device and flash it to the EMMC built-in. And the model I've been sent is an 8 gig of RAM, 64 gig EMMC model. So I'm going to shut this down by pressing and holding the power button. And you can see we get power off on the screen. 
and let's shut it down. Actually, I'm thinking of how I use other SBCs. I can route this through the Mechatronics. So let's turn this back on. Switch on my Melee Mini PC. And in fact, if I, I'm going to use my Logitech mouse and keyboard in my Melee Mini PC, and I'm going to enable HDMI in. And there's my Melee Mini PC coming through HDMI in. So it's going out of here and then into the HDMI in on the back here. Uh, so you can have two devices plugged in to one monitor. I like that. So let's download this file. I've already shown you where to get it. So let's download that. And releases. So January the 14th, pretty recent. And download that and save it. Now I think I've still got a Mechatronics tool. Yeah, I've still got a Mechatronics folder. So let's save that here. So now it gets a little bit confusing because obviously I'm going through this device but I want to flash to this device. So I'm going to have to put the HDMI straight into here uh, and shut this one down. So again, let's press that power button. I like having a power button on an Android device. I've removed four screws from the back here uh, and I've taken off all four of the antennas. And I'm hoping that this will move, although I'm not flat, not sure how. Wow, there's loads in there. If I can get it enough to just slide the lid. Uh -huh. Well, this is no ordinary SBC. Uh, we've got a nice heat sink in here. We've got the dial, the display, uh, obviously the heat sink on the main CPU, which does work really well. All the other Mechatronics seem to have that same design. And then we've got, I guess in the M.2 slot. So is that the, 4G module, it probably is. And then, oh, that's the SD card slot there. And the USB slots on the side. Yep, there is a lot going on in there. Let's flash this OS to it. Okay, so the banging and all the noise you can hear and all the dust is attributed to all the building work we're having at the moment. So I've had to move rooms and uh, I'm gonna use Debian uh, which I've flashed to this and I'll explain why in a second and I've got my son's PC up here uh, Which has got a very nice graphics card in it. So if I uh, start up chromium, let's go to the web browser and Go to the Mechatronics site. Oh, I'm not connected to the internet up here and I haven't got Wi-Fi antenna. Let's see how it's let's see if it works without Wi-Fi antennas Fingers crossed. Well, it's got some signal anyway So let's go to the Mechatronics site and support and you can see here that uh, there's a distinction between the 2022 Mechatronics R58X and the 2023 model. Now the Pro that I've got is the same as the R58X 2023 model, uh, the 4G model and the R58X HD model. Now I don't think there was a version for that. Uh, let's have a look. Now it could be uh, just changing the DTB files that might be enough to do it. Although I don't know how to do that on an inbuilt EMMC drive. I can do it on an external drive. I've got a separate video showing it on an SD card. So download the ARM version. Oh, here we are, look, R58X 4G. That version might work. Okay, let's give that a go. Oh, well, I need to download that on a different device, but that, that may well work. Now, I might not do that in this video because it just depends on the noise and if I'm needed for anything else. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that version should work. And I've got separate videos on Reborn OS. It gives you an option of installing all sorts of things, all sorts of desktop environments. It is, it is really nice the way it works. So let's close that down. As I say, I may come back to that either in this video or in another video possibly. And let's pop in here Chrome GPU and show you that actually loads of it is enabled already. So uh, the fix that I did in the Ambient video isn't needed on this. WebGL, WebGL2 is already enabled. Video Hardware video decoding is enabled as well. So let's have a look at YouTube. Bearing in mind I'm on, uh, on Wi-Fi without the antennas. Uh, so YouTube, they're just really awkward to get hold of at the moment. Um, they're in a box which is stuck behind a load of stuff. Uh, I wasn't anticipating needing it. Let's just try my video first. Oh, is it already on 4K? It's already on no, it's gone 1440 it's picked. So let's up that to 4K, go full screen. I like this monitor my son's got, it's definitely a lot clearer than my Acer one. 
Right, and uh, I think it's a 1440 monitor as well. Stats for nerds. And let's see what's happening regarding frames dropping. Yeah, it looks all right on the frames, and it looks nice and smooth on the screen. So this version of Debian has video GPU support straight away, which is really nice to see. You don't have to do anything to be able to enable that. So yeah, happy with that. So I think I'll end the video there because it's becoming hard to be able to finish it off and the noise is starting up again now. I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks to Mikatronics for sending me this to test. Please like and subscribe.